This is the Kronos, and it's the fastest, lightest drone that anyone can build, and it just swept every podium spot at Mayhem that you can think of. Designed by DRL pilot Hyper in collaboration with DRL champion MCK. At the Mayhem team race, I was super surprised to see both Hyper and MCK there. They were part of a secret team that was flown in Flight Club. So I went up, handed my Kronos to Min Chan. I think it took him a second to realize what it was. Oh, this Kronos! Thank you so much for using Kronos. <laughs> You're like, why did we have this? It's like, what is this squad? Anyway, how did the Kronos come about? So, me and Hyper like personally started because like we wanted to make up like some fast quads and lightest quads. We designed it and then we and it came out like way better than we thought. Yeah. We basically kind of were just talking on Discord one night about how we've got quads. They're like, yeah, they're pretty light, but they could be lighter and they could probably be more stiff and smaller. And I was like, I've got fusion on my computer like we just open fusion we'll just start on something we kind of started just putting lines down and mentions like let's rotate the stack 45 we make the body small I'm like oh that's a great idea so we started with that and then kind of built out from there this is just the product of that you know it was really made to fit what he was going to run so foxier 60 slim fits perfectly at a 45 but like the body got to be drawn in a little bit smaller it's a little bit wider so it's just got a lot of structural stability there one of the printed pieces that actually comes and these are some that i printed on my bamboo labs p1p axi antenna holder right here clamshell style camera mount with the predator 5 turtle mode fin this is an interesting feature right here a little thing that you can slide on one of the standoffs and it can actually mount a tiny receiver like an express lrs double-sided tape it on there and then boom oh pretty cool the camera mounts another 4.3 grams the other prints 8.6 grams one of the ways it gets the weight down very very low is by using tiny tiny pieces no these are not meant for a three inch this is meant for a full five inch racing so one of the lightest frames out there the arms are five mil only two screw holes if you see right here they actually fit together the two arms stacked go like this so you have the two key slots right there all of these plates are countersunk. Arm swaps are going to be very simple. It's just long enough to fit a lot of the traditional ESCs from like 2020. So things like the Hobby Wing, the Fox here, uh, 45 and 60. Some of the big ones, they fit sideways, but kind of no matter what you're going to put in, you know, it's it's going to fit one way or the other. And the newbie drone ESCs are fit. Newbie drone yeah. ESC. And then Hobby Wing, 40 yeah, amp fits perfect. Perfect. Newbie, newbie drone with the newbie drone piece. And then Race Free 2. Like a VTX. Yeah. yeah it's perfect. perfect. Just fits. Blue blight fits perfect on the top. So you guys were all able to test it as you're developing it and make changes and like how many revisions did it go through? So I did the original testing locally just because it was much faster for me to do it. A lot of the revisions I do are before anything gets cut. So I can sit there and look at the frame and just decide, hey, this isn't quite right. This is going to be a weak point. Just because I've sat there and looked at a bunch of frames on my computer. I've designed things in the past and you know, I've seen where they bring. After I've gone through it four or five times myself, I can go back and say, all right, let's get this one cut, see where it breaks, and then we'll move forward from there. It was really only, I would say one and a half revisions for this. There was only a couple minor changes to the body and that was just to strengthen it so the arms break in the right spot rather than the body. Yeah, like first part of that came out looked pretty good, right? So like we didn't actually like change all bit. Very small things around the arm locking. And that was pretty much it. So what were you looking for, Minchan? Easy to build, it just flies better. Yeah. Like we crash hard and then we build a lot of quads and then we have to save the times. And then this thing I can build is so easier than other frames. So like I can actually build it in five minutes. And then that was my first time can build it five in about five minutes. So I was so happy. Because like for mayhem basically like you have to build like more than ten quads, right? Yeah. And it actually like saves so much time. But it was well, like, because we were sitting in really hot, it was like, how can you make the arm burn slider? Yeah. It's like, oh, these are This is actually the newest revision. Like, community, you know, yeah. design We had all the best top pilots. Yeah. Yeah. The idea of trying to get all the guys together. I see so many people posting, like, fleets of these, like, in the past. Yeah. Two, three, yeah. yeah. Well, they just went on sale. Yeah. And people are, I've got a new match coming in, too. But they just sold didn't them. realize how many arms people were. <laughs> they don't worry like sad. Yeah, no, that was the I don't think anyone realized the arms are really short, so they don't actually break as much as you would think. 
Oh, so we okay. didn't order that many, but yeah. I think everybody just thought that, it's, oh, it's a barm. It's going to break like every other alarm. I built this up and I actually brought it with me to Mayhem, thinking that this was going to be my last resort. I was going to fly my normal extremely durable open racers the entire time but i decided maybe i should get a pack on the track for my review it just flew better it just felt faster around the track it's not really a huge surprise this absolutely fat shames my open racer being about 70 grams lighter but in addition to that though i normally run a battery protector on here so this is actually 85 grams lighter than i normally am used to and man it made such a huge difference i immediately switched to the chronos and started running it through most of the day now i did take a very hard crash one of those wind Gus whipped one of the fabrics of a flag, wrapped me up into it, and sucked me directly into the metal pole of it, breaking an arm. And at first I thought I killed my entire stack because it wasn't, this motor no longer worked, but when I got it home, I was happy to find out that all it did was just nick the motor wires at the very bottom of the base that I didn't see when I was field repairing, and this thing was back in the air. If you want the absolute lightest, if you want the absolute fastest, that's a question I get quite often. What's the fastest? There's no dispute that this is it. It won every single place that you can win. Maybe they could take a look at what Flight Club just did and time it like that. It swept the podium with MCK taking first in the individual race, Hyper taking second, and Heijun taking third. Also, some of the other top pilots around the country are already flying this frame. In fact, really fast ones like Levi and Prop, these guys helped test to make sure that it was ready for prime time before the release. And I've seen so many fleets of these being posted online. People unrelated to the design team were already choosing this as their frame of choice to build up their fleets on both analog and HD zero. But well, this is for advanced users, not just in building things tight, but in being able to have a fleet. This is like a Formula One race car versus like a Corvette. One is gonna no question outperform the other on a track. That's not surprising. Now a good observation was put forth though in a Formula One race car, when you crash, it's gonna explode into a million pieces, but there's a protective cage that keeps your driver safe. In a drone, the person is your electronics in the middle. And in a super hard crash, just like any frame with standoffs, they're all gonna bend and it's gonna hit your stack. But the thing of it is, when you're drone racing, you can just hit the reset button and pull the next quad. You can afford to have 10 of these built, go to a race, enjoy the faster speed around the track. I didn't think that I was gonna feel it. I'm used to flying heavy quads. It was very windy on that mayhem day and I thought the heaviness was gonna give me an advantage until I actually flew it. It flew better. I didn't plan to do it. I planned to run it one pack and I just kept doing it. I was absolutely getting my fastest laps of the day on this. What do you guys think in the comments? Are you looking for the next best thing? Are you looking for a fleet of frames? Are you more worried about having the lightest, fastest quad and you actually do have the budget to keep repairs? I don't think this is a beginner quad, but if you're looking to take the next step, there's nothing faster out there and the podium spots prove it.